and welcome to Bottoms Down, Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol. I'm so glad you've joined us today. Check out the Bottoms Down YouTube channel homepage for easy access to videos about the body area you want to work on, or the amount of time you have for your yoga practice today, or if you want to stay seated or stand more. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Don't forget, it's free and we'd love to hear from you, so leave me a comment. Now in today's practice, we'll explore poses for self-care. You'll need a chair and a block for today's class. Now if you don't have a yoga block, you can substitute a large book or just do the class without it. All right, let's get started. So we're going to move forward in our chair and we're going to take just a moment to think about connecting our feet to the earth. So we're grounding those feet to the earth. And it's the same idea with our sits bones. So making sure you're feeling connected to the chair and that you're equally weighted. So you're not leaning one way or the other. All right. Now let's take a moment to connect to our heart center. We're going to let go of everything outside of the room and we're going to focus inward. Flip your palms up to the ceiling, close your eyes, and connect to your breath. Just your natural inhalation and exhalation. Now let's try to inhale and then make your exhalation longer than your inhalation. that one more time. Just breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart and set your intentions for today's practice. One more breath here. Bring your hands down to your thighs and open your eyes. We're going to roll our shoulders. So let's bring those shoulders forward up, back, and down. Let's do that again. Should feel really good. Forward, up, back, and down. And then let's reverse that. Back, up, forward, and down. One more. Back, up, forward, and down. Down. Very, very good. Okay. So this next stretch, what we're going to do is we're going to place our hands on the chair behind us. So if you haven't moved forward in your chair, you're probably going to want to go ahead and do that now. Just move a little bit forward and place your hands just behind you on the seat of the chair. Now we're going to lift up through our chest, right? Open up and squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Just a little slight lift of the chin. Now, let's drop our right ear towards that right shoulder. So don't forget, continue to squeeze those shoulder blades. So the upper body is really quite active here. Okay, we're going to drop our chin towards our chest. And then we're going to go to the other side. So I don't know about you, but I hear a lot of creaking and crunching and but it's all good, all right? Okay, drop that chin down one more time. Now go ahead and face forward and let's release that. Shall we do another shoulder roll? I think so, let's do it. Ah, and reverse it. Excellent, all right. Very, very good. So can we do that just one more time? What do you think? Let's do it. Put the hands back behind you, lift up, Remember, slight lift of the chin, squeeze those shoulder blades back behind you. Now we're going to do the other side first. Doesn't matter. Let that left ear fall forward or fall to that. So ear to shoulder is what I'm trying to say. And then drop the chin to chest. Oh, boy. And then we're going to do left ear to left shoulder. 
or right. It doesn't matter. Do the other side. And down we go. Oh, boy, that feels good. Go ahead and look up, release, and roll those shoulders. Mm. And one more time, the other way, maybe. <clears throat> okay, very, very good. So we're going to do, we, we're going to warm up that spine with a cat and a cow, okay? So let's bring your hands to heart. I want you to lift up. Think about lifting up through that chin, just like we did before. So just a different version of cow pose. Now we're going to place our hands on the thigh and we're going to ground down into cat. Tuck the chin and leg down. And let's do that again. Bring the hands to heart, lifting up through the chin, squeezing the shoulder blades back behind you just a little bit, and round down into that cat pose again. And release. That's great work. Okay, we're going to move into an extended mountain. So we're going to take our hands up towards the ceiling. Now, as you lift those fingers to the ceiling, what happens is those shoulders want to come with. And I don't want you to let that happen, right? So we want to keep those shoulders down as we extend those hands up to the ceiling. Good. Now, place your palms together. Interlace your fingers and have that pointer finger up to the ceiling. Okay, so we're going to lean our mountain one way. So thinking about keeping the opposite hip down, we want to really feel that nice stretch. And we're going to come up, and then we're going to lean the other way. So really extending nice and long through that sideways. Now, if you've got shoulder issues, you can keep your elbows bent and still feel that stretch. You can still feel this lengthening. All right? All right. Here we go, fingertips to the ceiling. Now we're gonna add a little twist. So we're gonna lean first. Then all you're gonna do is turn and look up at the ceiling. So it's a gentle twist here. One more breath, take the twist out, come back up to extended mountain, other way. All right, turn and look up at the ceiling. One more breath, take the twist out, up we go and release. All right, very good. We're going to move into a crescent lunge. I'm going to take my right knee and I'm going to open it up nice and wide. So I'm feeling a good little stretch on those inner thighs. Now I'm going to let this knee fall straight down towards the floor. Push the foot back and lift the heart. Crescent lunge. Should feel pretty good, really. So we're stretching into the front side of this leg, right? This back leg. Let's release that, and then let's do it one more time. Pressing back. So it's kind of kneecap to ceiling, if that, if that makes sense to you, right? I'm looking over my front leg. I'm lifting up through the heart. I'm relaxing through this glute. One more breath and face forward. Okay. We're going to do the other side now, all right? So let's take this knee and open it up first. Little inner thigh stretch. Now we're going to let this knee fall down towards the floor, pushing the foot back just a little bit, lifting through the heart. So remember, relaxing through this glute will help you get a little stretch into the front side of this leg. Let's release it and do it one more time. You've got this. One more breath. All right. Let's face forward. And grab a sip of water. Okay, so we're going to move into a seated triangle pose. And we're going to use our block. But remember, if you don't have a block, don't worry about it. I'll show you how to just use your body. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a heel and a toe and a heel and a toe. So now this leg stays right where it is, and then this leg is at a bit of a diagonal. So let's go ahead and grab that block, okay? And we're going to set that block on the outside of our foot. And you're going to want it in this number three position, so this tall position. Okay, good. 
Bring your arms out to the side, shoulders stay down, belly is tight. Now, we're just going to move at the rib cage. So we're just taking, you see what I'm doing there? Those ribs are just going to the side, but my arms are staying parallel to the floor, right? And then we're going to come center. And let's do that again. And center. Let's do that one more time. Just the rib cage only is moving. And center we go. Okay, let's bring the arms down and just take a moment. Leave the leg right where it is. So now what we're going to do is that same idea, right? Moving right at that rib cage again. And then we're going to take this hand and we're going to let it fall down onto the block. And this arm will be up. Okay, so let's extend those arms out. You'll see here. All right, let's move at the rib cage. Now you're going to let that hand fall down to the block and the opposite arm is extended up. So if you like, you can look out or you can look up. You feeling that sideways stretching, right? One more breath. All right, pull that belly in tight. We're going to come back into that extended triangle. We're going to bring our ribs back and we're going to bring our hands down. Okay, and let's heel toe that foot in. Okay, so now we're going to go to the other side. So the first thing we'll do is we'll do a heel and a toe and a heel and a toe. All right, so now this leg is at that diagonal and this one's straight. Let's go ahead and reach down and grab our block and place it on the outside of that foot. Bring the arms up. Okay, are we ready? Ribs only. Here we go, move just at that rib cage. And then we're gonna come center. Let's do that again. And center, see how we're Disconnecting the upper and lower body. And center. Okay, are we ready? Now we're going to come here and we're going to let that hand fall to the block. Maybe you look up, maybe you look out. Really feeling the openness in the chest. We're not like collapsing on ourselves, right? Lifting up, feeling that openness in the chest. One more breath here. Let's come back, bring the ribs back center, bring the hands down, and heel toe that foot in. Okay. All right, very good. So now you've got two versions, and if either of those two versions is great. If you want a little bit more, it's a little different, but it, it's actually, uh, it'll feel differently. Let's go ahead and grab that block. We're gonna heel toe this foot out, just like we did before. So now, instead of the block being on the outside of the foot, it's going to be on the inside of the foot. So you can already see, right, we're going to be twisting even more. So we're going to be really working through that side waist even a little bit more. Okay, you don't have to. Remember, you've got two other versions. Let's come out. Let's just do the ribs first. So it's nice to just isolate that upper body. And then down we go. And let's do that again. Slide. Come back center. Okay, here we go. We're going to slide and then we're going to take that hand to that inner block and then open. So you feel the difference? I do. We're hanging out here and we're breathing. We just have one more breath. All right, press up. Bring the ribs center. Bring the hands to the lap. Grab your block. Heel toe this foot in. Okay, and we've got the other side. This is it. Last time, last side. Heel toe, heel toe. So we got this leg at a diagonal. Now we're going to put the block on the inside of that foot. Bring those arms out. Take just the rib cage and slide that upper body over and then come center. Let's do that again. Out and center. One more. Out we go. And then take that hand to the block and open. Remembering your uh, placement of your head wherever feels good for you. One more breath. Press the arms up. Bring the waist center. And hands are down. Very 
Very good. Okay, so let's just set our block under our chair for right now. We'll come back to it. So we're going to do a straddle forward fold, but we're going to be using, we're going to be moving way back in our chair. So basically, you're going to move, slide your hips back so that the seat of the chair is between your legs. So this is already, for me, you feel a, a stretch. So this is a straddle forward fold, just like we've done, if you've been with me before, we've done this one, but not maybe necessarily with using the, the chair like this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're holding onto that chair and we're just gonna begin to let our heart fall forward. So you hold on to the seat of the chair for support here. Are you feeling that stretch? I am. One more breath. Okay, let's go ahead and lift up. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. Let's let that heart begin to fall forward, hanging onto that chair, giving ourselves support. One more breath, and then come forward, up. Okay, now what I want us to do is we're going to do a counter stretch for that. So we're going to move forward in the chair, just kind of relieve the pressure <laughs> in those legs. So now we're going to bring our heel toe and heel toe our feet out just a little bit and then let your knees fall in. I went too far. So you want to let those knees fall in. So just a little internal rotation for the hips. Do you feel that? Should feel pretty good. Hanging out. One more breath. All right. Very good. So now we're going to do that again with one little add-on. So let's go ahead and scoot back. Okay. So as I begin to let my heart fall forward, I'm going to place my right arm on that. It's kind of elbow, really, because the arm kind of hangs off. So I'm going to place that arm down. How does that feel? Is everybody, is your, are you okay with that? You know, here's a great idea. If it's not feeling good, you could use that block, right? So that could be a really good option. I didn't even think of that, honestly, but that would be a really good option for you if this doesn't feel good. Okay, now we're going to revolve. So that arm is coming up. So as I revolve, think about your rib cage. So you want those top and bottom ribs to be stacked. So that's the idea. Don't overextend the arm that's in the air. It should be a natural extension of your arm, your shoulder. So you're, you've got shoulder, shoulder, and wrist in alignment. Okay, let's bring that hand down. Put that elbow on the mat, on the chair, and then we're going to open up the other side. How does that feel? I feel that one. Do you? Right? Stacking those ribs, one the rib cage top to bottom here. That arm is a natural extension of the shoulders. Let's go ahead and come back down. Grab that chair, roll up. Okay, let's come forward and do the internal hip rotation. So it's just a little counter stretch. Man, right? So just do a couple of heel toes out and then let your knees fall together. So how's that feel? I like this one. <laughs> All right, one more breath. Let's go ahead and bring those feet back into that natural position, hands on thighs, and grab a sip of water. We're going to come to standing on the right side of our chair. And I want you to think about having your feet hip distance apart. So nice, feel like you're stable. So it's not too wide, but not close together, right? So nice, stable foot position. So we're going to move into an eagle series here. So we're going to start with our crossing at the wrists. <clears throat> we're going to twist towards our chair. And then we're going to come center. And then we're going to twist the other way. And we're going to come center. Then we're going to look down towards the floor. So let your hands come down. Bring them up center. And then we're going to look up. 
and center. Then I want you to just switch which hands in front. Okay? Let's twist to the chair. And center. And twist the other side. Come back center. We're going to go down. And center. And up and center, and release. Okay, so the add-on here, the first add-on is, instead of crossing at the wrist, we're gonna hug ourselves. So just reach around and give yourself a hug. Whatever that looks like for you doesn't matter. It's fine. It could be here, right? If that doesn't feel good for your shoulders, it might just be simply crossing right here at the chest. Just pick whichever, whatever version feels good to you. Let's give ourselves a hug. And we're going to twist to the chair. And we're going to come center. And we're going to twist away from the chair. And center. We're going to let those elbows go down towards the floor as we look down. Come back center. Elbows up towards the ceiling as we look up and center and then we're going to just cross the other hand on top okay are we ready let's twist to the chair and center twist the other way and center down we go and center elbows up to the ceiling looking up and center and release okay so that is a great way to do that now the we're going to add on lifting a leg up but here's something that you can do if you want to take your block on the number three position and place it on the floor and then you're going to have one foot resting there so it gives you a little stability right but it's not like you're standing on two feet, so it might be a way for you to work a little bit of balance in a different way, okay? So I'm gonna let you, in fact, let's everybody do it this way. So if you have the block, you're gonna do that. If you do not have a block, either you're gonna lift your foot up or you're gonna just have your toes on the floor. Okay, can you see that? So maybe just the toes on the floor. So we're still working a little bit of balance, but if you have that block, we're gonna set it down and we're going to put our foot on that block. All right, are we ready? Let's cross at the wrist. We're going to twist towards our chair and center. And we're going to twist the other way. Are you feeling the balance work? And come center. We're going to come down and center and up and center. All right, now. We're going to do the other side. Here we go. Twist. Center. Twist the other way. And center. We're going to go down. Come up center. And then up. And center. Very good. Release that. Okay. So now we're going to put the other foot on. So we're, we're going to just, we're building, right? You kind of feel that, that building sensation. So put the other foot on the, on the block, or it can be lifted, or the toes can be on the floor. Okay. So this time we're going to hug ourselves, just to mix it up a little bit. Okay, let's twist to our chair. And center. And we're going to twist away from our chair. And center. We're going to look down, center we go, elbows up towards the ceiling. Now, this is super challenging, belly tight, and center. Hug yourself the other way. Here we go. Twist to the chair. Oh, my goodness. And center. Are you feeling the balance? Me, I am. Here we go to the other side. And center. Down. Center up and center. Very, very good. Grab that chair and place that in. 
I know, right? It's just crazy how just putting your foot up on that block gives you that amount of instability. Where and I think it's a little better than just having the leg lifted, but not much. Okay, so if you've got your block, what we're going to do, this just I tell you what, just sit in your chair for right now. We're going to come right to it. So I want you to move forward just a little bit. So kind of where the, the arches of your feet are in alignment with the front edge of your chair. Okay, so now we're going to take a step back with that left leg. Okay, so hold that chair if you want to. And that back foot is at that 45 degree angle. Okay, now we're going to straighten that front leg. So I want you to grab your block. If you don't, again, if you don't have the block, you're just going to use your, your shin. But if you have your block, you're going to place it right on the inside of that foot. Okay? Now, I want you to think about, so the leg that, that's straight, I want you to really think about pulling that hip back. So we don't want our hips to start twisting. We want our hip, this, especially think about this hip back. Front leg is straight. Back foot is at that 45 degree angle. Hold on to that chair. Lengthen nice and long through the spine. We're going to begin to hinge up the hips. And we're going to bow over that front leg. And then you're going to place your hand on that block for support. So again, it is this pyramid pose. And I'm bowing over my pyramid, over that front leg, that straight front leg. But I'm using that block. Maybe... You want to move that block down if that feels okay for you, right? You can choose. We have one more breath, all right? Go ahead and bend that front knee, and let's roll it up, okay? Good. So now, just step forward, and we're going to switch sides. All right, so that back foot, remember you're at that 45-degree angle. Make sure those hips are forward. Pull this hip back. The... The leg that's straight, that's the hip that inevitably wants to come forward. So we're going to pull that back, all right? You've got the block there. I'm going to move it, actually, I'm going to move it to the outside of that leg. I think that feels better for me. It could be on the inside. All right, are we ready? Lengthen nice and long. Go ahead and hinge forward, and I'm going to place one hand on that block. We're hanging out here. We're feeling that stretch in the front of that front leg, right? The back side of that front leg. Hanging out, breathing. Just one more breath. Now, bend that knee and roll it up. Grab the chair and come together. Okay. So that is a great version of that pyramid pose. And I want you to, you know, maintain that if that feels good for you. If you think it's okay and you want to try... What we're going to do is we're going to clasp our hands behind our back. We're going to push those le those hands down, and then the hands will come up as we hinge forward. So we won't be using the block now. I'm going to set mine aside. Remember, you can have the block there, and you can have the hands on the block instead of this version. So let's go ahead and come forward. So when we step back, we've got the back of the chair in a good position for us to grab if we need it. So make sure that back foot is at that 45 degree angle. Straighten that front leg. Get those hips around. Pull that belly in. Okay, are we ready? Hands behind your back, pushing those fingertips down, or hands down towards the floor, lifting up first. Now, I'm going to hinge over that front leg, and I'm going to begin to let my hands come up behind me. I have another breath here. Pull that belly in. You can bend that front knee if that feels better for you when you come up. Let's do that one more time. Straighten that leg, lengthen, push that those hands back behind you. Come forward, let those hands come up behind you. One more breath, bend that knee, and up we go. We gotta do the other side. <laughs> Are you okay? All right, let's do the other side. Here we go. We got this. That back foot is at that 40. You're not up on those back toes. My goodness, that would be really challenging. So you go ahead and put that back foot flat, right? Get those hips around. Front knee is straight. Front leg is straight. Okay, clasp the hands behind your back. Push. Begin to let the heart fall forward. 
There we are. One more breath. Now bend the knee. Come up. I'm going to do it one more time. Straighten that leg. Push those hands back. Here we go. One more breath here. All right, go ahead and bend the knee. Come up. Oh my goodness. How'd that feel? <laughs> a little stretch for the front leg, right? <laughs> All right. Ah, let's grab a sip of water. We're going to heel toe our feet just a little bit wide here and then let your knees fall together. So whatever, you know, however wide you, those feet feel good to you so that you can bring those knees together. Bring those arms out, palms facing forward. Right arm on top. We're going to cross over and hug ourselves. Let your head fall. And you're just kind of looking down at your arms, down at your lap. Make sure you're not holding the head up. Just let the head fall. One more breath. To lift the heart up. Open up those arms. Take the knees wide. Now, we're going to bring those knees together. The other arm is going to be on top. Hug yourself. Let the head fall. Tuck the chin, looking down. Don't hold your head up. One more breath here. Lift up. Release, bring the knees out, and then heel to those feet back together. How'd that feel? I like that one too. So we're going to grab our block. Don't worry if you don't have a block, it's fine. And we're going to place it between our feet. So I've got it in the number two position on its end, okay? So up on its end and wide. Great. Place your hands behind your head, elbows are wide, and squeeze your shoulder blades back behind you. Think about having those feet grounded to the earth, okay? So remember how we did that at the beginning? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to bring those elbows forward, pull the belly in, and then I want you to release the hands and put the forearms on the thighs, but the palms are facing down. So you kind of, it's, it's a seated child's pose. So we just have one more breath here. Now we're going to lift up. We're going to bring those hands back behind. We're going to do that one more time. Squeeze your shoulder blades back behind. Elbows are nice and wide. Feet are on the earth. Pull the belly in. We're going to release into that seated child's pose. My arms are resting on my thighs. Palms are facing down. Let yourself just hang out here. Head is falling. It's a rest position. One more breath, and up we go. Okay. So if it feels okay, you can keep doing that version. But if it feels okay, instead of coming down here, we're going to bring our hands to the block, and we're going to let ourselves hang out in between our legs. So your your kind of your belly is going to be hanging out between your legs. And your hands are on the block. And or you can still have the hand, the arms on the thighs. Hands behind the head, elbows wide, squeeze your shoulder blades behind you. Release into that seated child's pose. Maybe the hands come to the block. Let the head fall. One more breath. Pull the belly in. Come back up. Hands behind the head, elbows wide, squeeze the shoulder blades. This is our last one. Here we go. Hinge forward, placing those hands on the block if that feels okay. 
child's pose. One more breath, and we're going to roll that up into a seated position. Very good. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab that block in that left hand, okay? Arms are at goal post arms. Now my feet are on the floor, my belly is tight. I'm going to bring that, I'm sorry, I'm going to bring the block across and I'm going to grab it with my other hand and then I'm going to open, okay? Now I'm going to bring the block across, I'm going to grab it with that opposite hand and then I'm going to open. Block comes across, we're going to grab it with that hand and we're going to open. Hand with the block comes across, grab it with that other hand, open. Let's do it one more time on each side. We've got this. So a little twisting action right at the ribs, right? You feel it? And the other side, grab that block and open. Very, very good. Okay, release. I'm just going to set my block under my chair, get it out of my way. We're going to take our right knee and we're going to open it up and we're going to let that left knee fall down towards the floor. Push that foot back, crescent lunge. Open up your arms and you're going to cross one arm on top of the other and give yourself a hug in your crescent lunge. Release the knee, open the arms up. And then we're going to hug ourselves with the opposite arm on top, pressing that kneecap up towards the ceiling, the back of the kneecap up towards the ceiling. Open it up, release that knee, hand comes down, and let's face forward. Now this leg, we're going to cross on top of the opposite leg for a little seated pigeon. Okay, so just hang out here for a moment. Ha! Ah, so a little stretch into that hip and glute. If you want a little more, lengthen through the spine and let the heart fall forward. You don't have to, right? You may not need any more. I know, right? Such a great stretch, though. And up we go. Okay, let's release that. Now, we're going to take this knee and we're going to open it up. Let the opposite leg fall down. Push the foot back. Lift the heart. Open up. Cross one arm on top, doesn't matter which one, hug yourself. Open it up, let that knee fall down. Now we're going to cross with the opposite arm on top, press the back of the kneecap to the ceiling, hug yourself. Open back up, bring the hands down, face forward. We're going to cross that ankle on top of that knee. We're going to hang out here for just a couple of breaths. Okay, if you want a little more, you're going to lengthen and then hinge forward. One more breath. All right, up we go. Sit back in your chair. Place your hands lightly on your thighs. Flip your palms up to the ceiling. Shavasana pose. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and a full, complete, cleansing breath out. The bus. You have significant control over your actions, your thoughts, your feelings, your words, your opinions. It's not total control all the time, but it's a whole lot more than anyone else has. The positive and purposeful exercise of that control is called discipline. It is something you can improve upon every day. The more you experience yourself exercising discipline, and the more you experience the rewards of that discipline, the stronger it grows. 
Certainly there are times when discipline does not come easy. And those are the times when it has the greatest positive impact. What small part of your life today can you exercise more beneficial control over? Do that consistently, repeatedly, and the benefits will spread throughout your whole world. Reality is always there to impose its discipline on you, whether you want it or not. Answer that by getting out in front of reality with your own discipline. You are the boss of you. Be an exceptional one. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Let your right ear fall towards your right shoulder. Reach up with the right hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that left hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with your hands. Give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Let your left ear fall towards your left shoulder. Reach up with the left hand. Give the head a gentle tug, pressing that right hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, click that subscribe button. Leave me a comment, and I will see you next time.